So this is my crystal collection, part one. This is just like a section of my house with some crystals. So this is my dark smoky quartz pointed tower. And how beautiful is the colour? Really, really dark. This is another smoky quartz tower that I have and this is more like a lighter brown and a bit bigger beautiful also I just this is a new one I just absolutely love the blues and the whites and all the different tones in there and this is a blue onyx my polished amethyst pointed tower very very heavy and just absolutely beautiful this is my bloodstone tower the colors the grays the blacks reds blues so mysterious I love bloodstone <clears throat> and this is my sphalerite half polished half raw huge tower it's just so magical the sparkles and it's just lovely just beautiful this is my large garden quartz sphere as you can see the beautiful red and green gold garden quartz inside of there and my sun and moonstone sphere the beautiful rainbows in if I can catch one yeah, yeah there <laughs> The rainbows are shy then and this is my mango calcite large sphere with beautiful rainbows in such a lovely color my yellow banded calcite which is very heavy and look at the look at the banding in that And one of my favourite crystals is Ocean Jasper. And this has got a druzy pocket right on the top. And this also has Mossa Gate within it as well. But what a work of art. Look at the colours. I just love it. Love it. This is my Volcano Agate. So this is another big crystal. Um, it's mainly polished, but along the side you can actually see like the fossils along the side. This is my smoky quartz and amethyst sphere. Absolutely beautiful. This is a very, very rare crystal so I was happy to get my hands on one of these a rainbows how beautiful oh. I literally just pick this one up a lot and just love finding the rainbows in it this is my labradorite I always pronounce that wrong but you can see all the flash and the the rainbows in that too when it picks up the colours the light sometimes the lighting doesn't do them justice in my house this is my orange band of calcite another big one so many different kinds of oranges in there 
And this is my fly quartz chunky heart. Just look at look at the colours in that. And it's just like the, the feel of it as well. I just love the feel of it. This is my pink opal. So heavy and chunky and it's got more of a rough texture and and I like that. <laughs> Beautiful pink as well. And this is my juicy, I can't think now, my juicy fluorite, green fluorite tower. It's just beautiful. Sometimes I wonder how the earth can just make these colours. this baby is my clear quartz chunky heavy high quality tower the inclusions and the flash and just everything about it it's just so special one of the most versatile crystals too I for some reason missed my black moonstone but we'll go on to my malachite this beautiful green malachite sphere. Beautiful. And this is my smoky citrine tower. Another big one and heavy. So I don't want to knock my crystals everywhere getting it. This is a purple root fluorite sphere. Like lighter purples and just a mixture of so many earthy different colours but just so beautiful these colours came from, from the earth this one I am not too sure of it I think it might be Lepidolite but for some reason I, can't, I don't think it is so I'm sure Lula will help me out with that <laughs> letting me know what that is And this is my sparkly lapidolite sphere. How beautiful. This is my I am dream amethyst tower. This one is my carnelian tower. I love the way the red is in that. It's like this is my moon cave tower. Beautiful colours again, very earthy. This is a large amethyst tower. I'm not an amethyst, sorry, emerald tower, and it's so heavy. I love emerald. This one is my moss agate tower. So many druzies in and sparkles and I love the way it's like a lighter, a lighter coloured one. It's just so earthy and really, really beautiful. Lots of white, white sparkles in there as well. Yeah. And this is a purple moss agate. Purple is definitely my favourite colour. But you can see just how, I mean, you can see like the, the green as well in, in it. And it's just such a lovely mixture. And this is called a cal calligraphy stone. This is so unusual. I like to meditate with this one also. And that's the end of part one. Oh, and this is my I am um, Mala that I like to meditate with.